guys, how you all doing? Dr. D Nice here, and you know, as usual, it's my weekly diary. I tell you all about my week as I do my makeup, and this is exactly how I did my makeup for church yesterday. Yeah, I went to church yesterday. I know I didn't do go last week, but I did go this week. So here we go. I'll just start off with Laura Mercier's uh, Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. Actually, I don't even think they make this one anymore. I'm still trying to finish it off, though, because it's still good. Um, if I was a makeup artist, I guess I'd have to get rid of it because it has an expiration date, but it's mine. I'm mean, I use it on my own skin, so I'm good with that. So anyway, just put a little bit on my hand. And then on the face, I really love this. It's just so really smooth, <laughs> as the package says. Um... I'm going to have to work out a technique for wearing foundation here in this humidity though because what I do realize here is my face gets oily. Um, do I have oily skin? I don't know. Maybe combination or just normal. I think it's more normal. But since I've moved here to North Carolina in humidity, my usual foundations get a little oily during the day. I have a technique I'm going to try that I used to use before that I'm going to have to go back to using. I'll tell you more about it or I'll show it to you. Anyway, let's get on with my week. So, this week, Sunday, you know I went on a trip to Dallas. So, and as usual, I don't put, like, a lot of foundation on my face or my nose. I just use whatever is left over on the brush. So, Sunday, I was in Dallas. And we had a birthday party for my nephew. And uh, this is... You know, my favorite concealer, I still haven't, well, my second favorite concealer, I still haven't replaced my favorite one, which is the MAC, Mineral, MAC, um, what is it? Select Moisture. But this is Mary, um, this is Maybelline, what am I saying? Maybelline Fit Me, love it. And I use the MAC Correct Duo Concealer in the corners because I need to lighten up the foundation just a little bit and brighten up the inner corner of my eye. Anyhow, <clears throat> as I was saying, so I was in Dallas Sunday. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit before I blend it out. I was in Dallas Sunday for my nephew's um, birthday. He turned two and we just had a good time. Then the party. The party was sab Saturday, but you know, the cleanup was Sunday, and Sunday we spent a lot of the day cleaning up stuff. We started, and then it was just like, you know what, we're good. Then we end up having like a mini pool party. Just my kids and her, their cousins just hanging out by the pool. Their aunts and uncles just hanging out by the pool, just chilling. And... I told you all about my thing. I don't drink. I don't drink. I like to taste people's drinks because I have yet to find an alcohol beverage that I like. And I think I may have found one. It's called a... Oh, Lord Jesus. What is it called? It's an S. <laughs> I can't remember this. It's horrible. Okay, maybe it's a good thing because I don't want to be promoting no alcohol on my channel. Um, but... I had my um, sangria. That's what the thing is called, the sangria. Um, my sister-in-law made some, and I actually drank some. <laughs> it wasn't bad. But you know what? I don't care. I'm still staying with my no-alcohol stands. I just don't drink the stuff. I don't see any good that needs to come of that. And I have great fun with my life without drinking at all. I mean, I've had a ball. My teenage life was a ball my 20s was a ball and I ain't drink one bit I've been accused of drinking but I ain't drink <laughs> anyway so that was Sunday and then Monday we we're of course flying back home this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills the, the usual brow product I use either that or the makeup forever anyway um, so Monday was just flying back home I can't believe how jet lagged I was. It's crazy. I came home. It was an early flight. This black, this brow look a little jacked. Y'all like, you know, I like my brows looking natural anyway. So there. Came back all jet lagged. I did, and I slept the whole time. I did, but 
Um, even though I slept, <laughs> I was still tired. I mean, that's, oh, just blending this out. I was still tired. Tuesday, we're into Tuesday now. I went to work Tuesday feeling so jet lagged and tired, but I had to be ready because we did walk and talk. I went to the nursing home and walked on the treadmill in the, in the gym area, not a nursing home, the senior center. And was walking on the treadmill and talking to the seniors that were there, giving them a little lecture Q&A. We talked about exercise this time. I'm going to be going there once a month. Just putting a little bit of this in the center and on my chin. Just to lighten things up. And down the center of my nose. Kind of gives me like a fake contour. Um. <clears throat> Anyhow. Yeah. So I did a walk and talk with Dr. Dr. D. Nice, and um, it was good. They really enjoyed it. It was really well received. Lots of questions. I'm be back there every every week. Not every week, every month. I'm just setting it with uh, Maybell Maybelline Pro Matte. Um, so that was Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday was so much fun, guys. I, did I tell you all that I was going to do the... Um, the uh, meetup for storytelling. I went to a storytelling meetup and they you go up and you tell your story and they critique it because you know I'm a storyteller. I don't know if I... Do you all subscribe to my other channel, Wisdom Teethinger? Go on there. I tell a story every single Wednesday. Anyway, I'm a storyteller and I went to a storytelling workshop to see if I could get my um, skills just a little better and I met the most wonderful storyteller. She, well, it wasn't at well attended this week because she didn't really advertise as much because she'd come off on vacation. So it was just me and her and I loved it because she has like 30 years, she makes a living storytelling and she sat down and critiqued my story for me. God, y'all, mm, mm. Uh, it was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. So this is my Gelon, Gelon bronzer. Love this stuff. Terracotta bronzer. It has a little bit of a reddish color. So honestly, I put it on um, be careful. That's all I'm saying. It, I am fine with the whole red, red tinge because I really like um, bronzers. And it kind of looks blushy too. So, but be careful with this when you, if you get it and if you like this product. Anyway, so I did my storytelling, got it critiqued. She loved my story. It's a story that I used in my wellness presentations. So I had to fine tune it some. I'll come to y'all's organization and do a wellness presentation if you want me to. Just hit me up. Anyhow, um, yeah, that was Wednesday. I really had a good time. What? Yes. And just a blush. Who is this? <sighs> you know what? The products will be listed, listed in the information section below. Apparently I'm not able to read. This is a really subtle blush. Kind of have to dig in there to get some color. But I kind of like that look anyway. So. Where were we? So that was Wednesday. Thursday is my Friday, and because um, it's the last day I work, um, I don't know. Thir I'm listening to this book. It's um, it's about evolution because I realized that you know what, I need to understand this evolution thing. What these what people that believe in evolution believe because I realized that I don't know a lot about it. So I got this book. And I'm listening to it on tape, of course, because I have a commute to work and I've been listening to it. It is actually pretty interesting. I'm not really, I don't really like his style of how he's writing the book because it's very, um, you know, I'm all about talking about, talk about what you believe. But you don't have to be like knocking creationism too, you know, talk about what you believe because there are holes in, holes in that theory. It's all a theory. You can't prove anything. There's a little bit of faith in all these things, creation and evolution. Don't talk about your stuff like as a matter of fact like that. Anyway, I'm listening to it. It's quite an, it's quite interesting though, because I, I love biology. And I thought it was just a great refresher. Anyway, 
NYX lining my eyes. Just to, I don't know. I just really wanted to draw some attention to my lower lower lash line today. I usually don't do tons with the eyes, but I just felt like it this week. I did. Because that's all part of the whole natural makeup, no makeup, makeup look that I do. Um, part of the key is really not doing tons to the eyes. Maybe a little accent here and there. Now this little It Cosmetic Mascara, I ain't gonna lie, wasting my money. I found it, it, ran into it again the other day and was like, oh, I haven't used that in a while. It's supposed to be good for the bottom lashes. Whatever. Anyhow. So I'm listening to Thursday, I was listening to this book, and I almost fell asleep driving. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I did, I, uh, yeah, you heard me right, I almost fell asleep driving. <laughs> I had to shut that thing off. I don't know if it was still jet laggy. You hear my voice, I'm still getting over flying. I don't know what about that flight that aggravated my voice. But my voice ended up being deeper when I got back from the flight and I spent the whole week feeling a little jet lag. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was because I was still jet lag because I couldn't even work out that morning either because I was feeling so tired. So maybe I was feeling a little jet laggy while I was about to fall asleep listening to this thing. Anyhow, but I said it was interesting. <sighs> I'm stop. I'm done. I'm done. So Friday. Friday. I took my mom to the airport, took my, went over, hung out with my dad a little bit because I picked my uncle up from the airport and I didn't spend a lot of time at my own house because our air condition broke. What? <laughs> yes, our air condition is broken and y'all know it gets hot up in here in North Carolina. Woo, it's crazy. And, and, okay, so we have the air condition on the second floor, and it's like barely, it's like struggling, it's struggling to cool down the house. Because you know, the heat rises, and if the heat from the bottom floor is just super hot, because that's the one that's broke, it's rising up, and that air condition on the top floor is just struggling to keep up. <laughs> I feel sorry for the poor thing. Anyhow, that's what we're dealing with. And then Sabbath, my favorite day of the week, Sabbath. Do y'all follow me on Instagram? Because I always post a picture of what I wear to church on um, on Instagram. And I also put a song that I heard that day that just really made me happy. I always use that as a quote. This is a Smashbox lipstick, very neutral color. And uh, it's raining outside. Ah, good, because our air conditioner still broke. And we can't afford for it to be no hot day. Uh, yeah, so Sabbath. Great time at church. My mom, my dad preached. He did a good sermon. What was it again? Um, <sighs> diminishing returns. I must increase. So he must increase. So I must decrease. You know, the whole John and Jesus thing. It was a good sermon. It really was. Thank you, Daddy. And um, that's it. <laughs> oh, and we found a new park. Me and the boys it took forever to find it. We drove up the street, down the street, turned around, asked about three different people for directions. Finally realized I drove past the park like three times. And finally I turned, made it left into this neighborhood. And they were like, uh, the park's just down the street there. Finally found it. It was a great park. Loved it. Anyhow, guys, that was my week. Thank you for listening to me rant. Hope you like the makeup. Give it a shot. If you liked any of the products, give it a shot and try it. And uh, I'll see you next week, okay? Bye.